Hello my friends and family and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. This um I have not uploaded in a while actually. This is um first for quite a while. But I do have a nice one. I do have a it's a quite a quick and simple one, but we're going to be finding where to farm good old Mothman eggs. Now, my favorite place that I have Point Pleasant. With Mothman eggs, you can make brain bombs um, and the Mothman egg omelette. Now, I'm I'm going to put up a recipe and buffs on screen. So, the dishes that you make, brain bombs are for herbivores and Mothman omelette, omelette is for carnivore. Uh, brain bombs gives plus three intelligence. Mothman eggs give plus two charisma. Mutations, herbivore, carnivore, obviously, for each one that I said. Uh, with the mutation, you get plus six intelligence for brain bombs and plus four charisma for the Mothman omelet. Next, we have... I'm not actually sure what mutation plus SIN is. Or mutation plus SIN plus magazine. That's, well, obviously, if plus magazine is when you use a magazine on top. And the magazine that you use is Live in Love 3 and Backwoodsman 6. And active for 90 minutes, active for 30 minutes, these two recipes. Which is quite interesting. I don't know if I went through that right, but let us quickly go through and I'll show you. First, you can clear out all these enemies that are here. I don't... You don't have to, obviously. They're not very difficult enemies. Bear with me right now as I take these boys down. That's all I want. Just that stuff for my shop. I mean, whatever that is. We'll run through. I have not got any XP buffs on me right now at all. I'll pop a yeah. Take a stimmy. Always need the stimmies. Now we're here. Alright, here's this guy. One of the most accurate gun to be using right now. We are here. Mothman eggs. This is the prime location that you're going to want to get all these Mothman eggs from. Those creatures just don't go away, do they? Was it? Oh, you get XP as well when you come here. Can't lie, I think I got over a thousand just for that little bit. Where did that come from? Holy cow! Let's not worry about them for now. I'm not too, not too worried. Uh, actually, let's try. And... We got it. Mothman eggs here. Can't pick those ones up though. So, hold on. before I show you, holy, just give me a moment. I didn't think there'd be this many here. I know there is more locations, right? But I don't care about the other locations. I looked up the stats, and this has the possibility to have 28 Mothman spawns. Okay, so in my inventory right now, eggs. Okay, I have one. No perks will boost this at all, either, by the way. Okay, that was slow. Nothing will boost picking them up, so whatever you pick up, just one. From here, you'll probably pick up enough. You don't need to pick up many more than coming to this location right here. There is a couple others. It is also that's this is the most you won't get more than here. This is the absolute most spot that was 22 right there And there will be a few others scattered here Yep right here I'm sure you guys do know that when you do loot all of these you're also going to want to loot 
other things because of the loot pool, like the list. You want to make this go where... I think it's 250 items and then it resets from there. I believe. That's how I think it works. It might not be. It might have changed from the last time I saw. But yeah, just picking up items like this makes the loot pool change. I, I'm just going to double check around that there isn't another spot. Pretty sure that was it. I should have... 28, yeah. But just in case, and just for your guys' sake, I'm going to quickly go up to here. Just have a look around. The poultice here. They are fun to play against. These little... You get some good stim packs from human enemies. That's actually a little tip. If you just want stim packs, go kill where all the raiders and mop people are, whatever. That's another good. That's a good tip. There shouldn't be much in here. But while you're here, you may as well loot everything that you see. That is a item. Not like these don't count. This doesn't count, as far as I know. But stuff like this, all this counts. All that. Take it all. Alright, now I'm over in cupboard. Maybe I don't take literally it all. There's nothing in here, though. But there is sometimes stim packs and all this other nonsense. Radex and Radaways can spawn here as well. Bit of dirty water. You nice little things. So yes, there is of course that. Search teams. Okay. That's the last spot here. Nothing here. Interesting. Abandon hope. That's going to be the conclusion of this there is no other spots where there is mothman eggs 28 is what you'll get and pretty much what you'll get every time give or take is always like a maybe you won't um yeah but another farming tip is that mothman eggs are part of your pickup history list which is what i was just saying i'm reading this off of the duchess uh what's this website called duchess flame if you want to read more into it i'll leave a link to them in the the description uh yeah they're part of your pickup history so every item on the ground that'll be that'll count towards the pickup history uh, there are no perk cards or magazines that affect the yield of Mothman eggs. It is unfortunately a one-for-one one farm. Which isn't too bad, considering you just got 28, which is nice. You can just leave the world, come back to a new one, and it's brilliant. Another couple of spots that will have, though, just for your concern... Um, I'll try and get a photo, put it in, but the other locations will be Ingram Mansion, Sacrament, Clancy Manor, Transmiss Mission, Transmission Station 1ATU03, Point Pleasant, where I am now, Kawa County Cemetery, Moth Home, and Sacramental Glade. The next best, other than where we are now, is Clancy Manor. The total you would get for viewing all these would be 66. Now, 28 is pretty good compared to the rest, being 10. Just reload, in my opinion, and just keep coming back. Go find some other... Oh, actually, you can't really do that 100% because you need to, need to think about the load, the pickup load order, whatever it's called. So maybe yeah, if you want to go to these other places, Clancy Manor, and then pick up everything and then come back, you, you could do that. Cranberry Bog isn't too bad for moth eggs. Because you can also farm cranberries, which is good for the cranberry relish. 
And lastly, there's also a Cultist High Priest pack, the Mothman Equinox. There's an event that runs alongside the Mothman, Mothman Equinox. It is similar to the Treasure Hunter Mole Miners, but you cannot purchase these packs with vendors. They only drop from Cultist High Priests. Their drops, Mothman Eggs 100%, Perfect Mothman Eggs 5%. That is another way you can get the Mothman Eggs. With that though, guys, I'm going to have to say thank you all for watching. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I've had a lot of fun with making videos lately. I've been doing Can You Beat challenges. I'm just about finished my third one. I've had a lot of time off at home, um, off work, so now I'm at I'm at home for a little bit, so I've been able to play a little bit more than usual, which is nice. I can get some good content out for you guys. And, yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy this next Can You Beat, and hopefully you enjoy this video. And there's more. I'm going to be making more um, tutorial videos coming up. And yeah, thank you, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Ciao.